Hi, morning people. Uh, welcome back to the channel. It's a very good day, but it's really, really cold out there. So it's minus four out there. So what we're going to do today is a very exciting news. And I have a beekeepers company contacted me. Would you like some free sample? I say yes. And it's all from Greece, from Europe. It's a very exciting moment to try to uh, accept the gifts. Uh, thank you very much from uh, NL Beekeepers from Greece all the way from Europe. And we have here is one of the sample that uh, they sent us. So it's uh, like a polystyrene plastic um, hives where we have this thing really, really interesting and is very seldom to see here uh, in New Zealand base and because we're all using a wooden frame and wooden box, uh, full depth, uh, three quarters all the way through but we hardly see this thing uh, sell or available in New Zealand market uh, we pretty much a bit old school, but I'm just going to try to find out how we can actually use this thing. Okay, so we're going to basically quickly, let's take a look, see how this thing looks like. Now, very interesting, it's like a full dead box. And this is a uh, what we call the top cover, yeah. And then this is a normal. What normally what we call this one is a lip, yeah. And then what this thing does is keep the bee warm during winter, but during summer. Our bees will basically like hang outside the hives uh, near the entrance because it's too hot. But this thing, it gives you some options where you can open this up. So the air will basically vent through here. So we will try to reduce the temperature inside the hives. You see that? It's really, really convenient so that the bees won't hang around and will stay in there and then we'll keep them vent all the way. Now we got four vent front and the back. And then we got a vent from the top as well. How convenient. This is a very good design and actually it's quite lucky that I got this sample because I'd say to the guy that willing to give me that free sample, uh, the sales manager, say that New Zealand is actually applying one of the stringent or strict biosecurity in the wool so that I have this parcel, the whole thing, arrive in here in New Zealand around about 28th of June, I think, end of June. But I only got this one now, like mid July. So it's about taking two weeks to 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 clear that from the clearance event, uh, from you know, from the custom, or maybe from the MPI, or maybe from some agency to to open this up. To, to check whether or not it carries some something in there. Now, this is the interesting thing. We call them as a top feeder. So all you need to do is just pour that syrup in there. And then the bees will just come up and uh, try to sip through to it. Okay, so the bees will come up through the little hole and then that that cereal would just actually sip through inside there. If you can see that, I'm not sure how we can open this one. And then moving on, 
Now, this is something that is not quite often seen in New Zealand. We have a bit simpler one, but this one is called, I think it's propolis mat, where the bees, you know, can actually store the propolis here, and then you can basically store in the freezer. Maybe you can sell it to some of the some of the bee companies around New Zealand. And then this one, what we got is the excluder, I think, the plastic excluder. Yeah. Moving on. Now this one is a bit it's a bit funky, but I don't know what that is. So might as well need to find out. It is something maybe from for the bottom, for the bottom box, maybe. I'll find out later. Now we got some colorful plastic frames here. So a black plastic frame, it's pretty much normal. We have this in New Zealand, it's quite normal. And the yellow one, which is a bit uh, flashy. Yeah, you see some cracks here, but still all right. Bees can sort that out. Fix that with frames. Now, what I wanted to show is this feeder. It's really interesting. But we don't have this in New Zealand, I think. Now, this feeder. It comes with two stick, like a floating stick that can float the base not to drown them. So what you're gonna do is when you feed them, you're gonna put this thing inside here. And when you pour in the um, syrup in there and this thing will float up. So it's just like an elevator con concept. So the bees can actually not drown in there. Okay. Now we just gonna pull this up, put it back, and then we can close it up. Quite interesting. Now this is a very hard, thick polystyrene box now we moving on we moving on let's see how the entrance look like now this is the B entrance okay so you might actually can take this off if you want to put a vent in there if you want and this is like a double double layers uh, so the bees can go in and out easily is that and then whenever you in the winter or autumn you're gonna protect the hive you can just push it up and you can see the door is all shut yeah. and then you open it up whenever you want to transfer your hive push it up and then we push it up here we go we close it that's it when you arrive we push it down so the bees can fly in and out okay so what next is we have something in here, which is also given by the company. Uh, some some queen cages. I mean, this one is a cell catcher. So I think it's a cell queen. I mean, whenever you wanted to have your cell uh, ready, you can just plug it in onto the top, so that when the virgin queen hatches. And you can catch them. Now I got some free sample too. 
Now this is a honeybee swarm lure spray. Well, we don't really have much swarm. I mean, we know how to control swarm, but sometimes it's really hard for you to catch some of these swarms in a while. And then we got some instructions here to read. So I'm going to read this up. And there's some sashes. Uh, we're trying to find out how to use this thing. Normally, we don't have this much kind of stuff in New Zealand. It's quite interesting. Now, moving on, we got this from the company too. Now, this is like a drawer model of the pollen collections, I mean for your pollen collections it's like a pollen collectors so what happened here is you open this up yeah and then is all the pollens will be in here so how the bees can give you the pollens is they walk through that design bottom pad I think uh, we got a little hole in here there's a multiple hole in there so once a bee walk past it the pollen will just scrap it off and just drop into that drawer so you can apply them from the front you can just do that like that and then easy assemble and the design will be looking like this once you put it in you can use it on your Langstroth hive as well you know our those are normal normal hives uh, too but you're gonna basically lift them up otherwise your pollen will become moldy because of the moisture okay now we got something interesting too for raw jelly this is a bit new for me and this is for you to to raise a queen okay it's like a sort of like a cell bar like a queen bar kind of thing and then you're gonna unplug this up then slot it in here so you can actually match I think and then, then we can see how it's gonna match it like this for this yeah, maybe not here maybe it's here yep yeah. I think it's gonna match some in some way. I'm gonna find that soon, but some of the stuff got snapped because of long flight. But I'm gonna fix that with some glue. And then we also got a queen cages too. There's a free sample. This is like a tiny little bag. Like going to shopping, you know, it's really elegant queen. You can take a queen to shopping, yeah. Oh, this is interesting. We don't have this kind of queen cage here in New Zealand. You just like open this up, and then you just put your made queen in here, and then put some escort bee in here, and then you just shut it up and then you can tiny little shopping bag you know you can carry with you and then uh, you go from there right. now this design is semi vented bottom board as you can see so it's sort of like a hive doctor smart bottom board where it's 
anti-viral, anti-mite. So once the bite drop down here, they can't be actually carried back up again. But one thing here is, it's really cold in New Zealand. Might as well gonna put a carpet. Now this is a company, yeah, all the way from Greece. Established 1968. And so Greece languages, I can't read them. Yeah, we got some. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. And hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. Quite a very interesting journey. And then it's quite a very interesting equipment that I got. I'm gonna put them into the tiss. Uh, starting next season depending on the sites I gonna basically try to relocate some of the hives out if I can because the current size is full of warts as you can view from the video it's not full, it's not good for the growth for the hives yeah this is it I really really like this this lid really cool really awesome the vent is nice the design is nice and this feeder the top feeder is really interesting too really really unique okay I think this is it we got a very good start for the season I just checked the hives uh, two days back still okay still managed to catch uh, catch up with the weather uh, but still some warts there uh, hopefully they will just die off uh, during this winter seriously I need them to be gone uh, and I'll be in uh, holiday very soon. Hopefully, I got some time to catch up with you guys uh, when I when I come back. Okay, so when when we come back, we're gonna do some tutorial on how we wax the frame. I mean, this frame is not really comes with a comes comes with a wax, as you can see. So clean, empty. So we're gonna wax them. So we got uh, some with a roller, with some uh, melted wax, and then we will just try to roll them on. Okay. All right. I hope you enjoy the video. It's quite of like an interesting introductions for all these high parts. If you would like to know more about the company, just click the link down below. I just uh, attach that link into there, and then it's really. Uh, fun to to have some uh, conversations, interesting conversations with the with the company, and then we'll hope to see you soon. And if you like the channel, uh, click subscribe and open up the uh, notifications button there, so you can view my video very soon. In the next two 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 weeks and hopefully we'll see you in the spring and see you later enjoy weekend like and subscribe people i'll see you soon bye now